Hey there everyone, this is Dr. Gwen from the Dr. Gwen International Training and Empowerment Academy and host of the iTunes show, The Dr. Gwen Show. Now it's a little echoey today. I am in, should be sunny Orlando, Florida, but it's raining now. And so I'm actually sitting in my room, a nice resort area, and I am here. Thank you for those love bubbles. And thank you for those who are joining me. I, I hope this internet connection is going to be stable because I am a Wi-Fi. I did bring my own internet. And as you can see, it's flashing red and green and then blue. So we don't know what is happening. And it's telling me already my connection is weak. Wow, so I hope this lasts and I hope you can actually hear me. Okay, wonderful, Jackie. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're my buddy, just giving me feedback and letting me know how this is going. So right on my screen, it says the connection is weak. I wanted to pick up this device here and show you around a little bit, but I'm afraid I'm going to lose the connection. But it's a nice little, uh, it has a theme park here and a water park, and I think at some point... I will be leaving the conference to go and enjoy that. And, and just hopefully the sun will come out because we can't enjoy that while it's raining and there's lightning. But today, my discussion or chat with you is, is life worth living? And I hope that you had the most amazing weekend. I hope you can see me. It looks like it's a little dark in the room here. I try to put the camera the best place that would put the light on me. I wanted to face the scenery, but when I turned the camera that way, it was all dark. Here, you wouldn't have been able to see my face at all. <laughs> okay, Jackie, <laughs> I'll take pictures. I, I will most certainly do that. I brought two cameras, so I will do that, and I will post, because I know as much I enjoy seeing pictures when people are gone. You know, I'm not the picture type. As I said, it takes me a little while to even remember to take pictures with my camera. <laughs> this camera selfie stuff is just, it's where it's growing on me. So um, I will be sure to take pictures. All right, so is life worth living? For those of you who will be joining me, I am so delighted that you will be doing that. And when you do get to the video, leave your comments, leave whatever questions you have so we can address it. I will be at this conference this entire week. And so the schedule may be off. I'm not certain whether I'll be able to do 3 o'clock every day, but I certainly will try to communicate that. When I go there, I'll plan my schedule so that I can be available at 3. But if there's a session that I really do need to catch, then it just may be a little bit off. So I just want to let you know that. And coming from the weekend, I got completely thrown around yesterday. I thought yesterday was Monday. So I'm very delighted to be here with you. So is life worth living? What do you say about that? Is it? Is it worth living? I know that question is depending on who is answering it, or the answer to that question depends on who actually is answering it. Because it's all about perspective, and I say attribution, right? And I will explain that attribution piece probably tomorrow. I'll see if I can work that in today, but I'll probably work that in tomorrow uh, to make sure that I don't cut anything, because I don't want this to be a long live cast. Just probably 20 minutes or so, if that long. So what do you say? To me, the answer to that question is like asking, is the glass half full or is the glass half empty? And depending on who you talk to, they will have a response. It's either half full or it's half empty. And it doesn't matter exactly what you are going through in your life there is always something to give thanks for, and there's always a perspective to take on your experience. 
Now, I can't say I've lived the roughest life. Maybe you cannot either, right? Because when you really think about it and you see and hear of other people's stories, you realize that you really haven't gone through anything, or so it seems to you. But in the moment while you're going through it, it is excruciatingly painful, and you can hardly breathe and take a breath to sustain yourself. I've been through those moments, those dark moments when I feel like, please, let this end. I want this to end. I can't sustain being this way anymore. I've been through a couple of those dark moments. And you know what? Those dark moments now, looking back in retrospect, have really honed me to be the person I am today. And I'm not saying I'm anybody great or anybody fantastic or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. But I'd like to think of myself as being that. <laughs> you know, fantastic and great. Everybody ought to think something of themselves, right? That's, that's the way it is. <laughs> but anyway, you know, not to say I'm on a pedestal or in any way like that. But I have to really say that those dark moments really have made me who I am. See, decades ago, I told you of my first marriage and my experience that I went through. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I was speaking to a friend quite recently. And I guess I wasn't even realizing the impact of this. Thank you for that love bubble. And we were talking and I, I guess my countenance was quite jovial. We were chatting about life and experiences and I was just complimenting this person on how much growth he had sustained. I was completely in awe. And so the conversation flipped to from my current marriage to the marriage I had before. And I started talking, just talking. And then he said to me, what's that all about? And I go, what's what all about? He said, your whole demeanor completely changed. And I thought, really? My whole demeanor changed? And he said, yes. And when I examined myself really deeply, you know, truthfully, I still was feeling some of that pain. That's something obviously I need to deal with. I need to clear that up because it can't be. But see, I was completely oblivious to it, completely dismissing it out of my mind every time it showed up and replacing it with great thoughts. However, that's something there that I need to deal with. But in those dark moments, oh, I would remember being a, a classroom teacher at that time, teaching math. I would turn to the chalkboard to write the math problems, and tears would begin to stream down my face. And I had to pause there, writing a little slowly so I could dry it up before I turned and faced my class. I remembered those weekends, thinking that I had to go home on a Friday night. Oh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Those were tough times. And even in those darkest of dark moments, moments. Thanks for the love bubbles. In the darkest, darkest moments, you know what I knew? I knew that I would rise above that moment. That much I knew because I wasn't going to be like that for the rest of my life. And then secondly, I knew that that life was not just for me alone. I knew that someday I would be able to tell my story to benefit some other woman who would be going through that. 
And I started writing a little journal of activities and events so I could remember it to put in a book that I'm still writing. <laughs> but I wanted to do that because I knew my story was to empower someone else's life. And taking that approach really lessened the pain for me. It was painful. Oh, oh. It really was. I have to breathe through that one. But it made it bearable for me knowing that there was something else, another mission that I had to get to living through this one. So it's really all about perspectives. And as I said, most people are really grateful for something in their lives. Even the person who is going to end their life. They're, they're grateful for someone or something. They really are. So what are you grateful for? Is life worth living? Is it really worth living? When you think about your job or your business, when you think about your relationships that you have with other people, or when you think about your finances, is life worth living? You see, those things that we're looking at right now, all of those hurdles and all of the challenges are not to hurt you. They are to strengthen you for what is to come. And if you were to change your perspective on the way you are looking at it, it will lessen the pain and the heartache for you. And look for the lesson in it. Look for the lesson in it. There's, as I'm talking to you, and I see Jackie says, we sometimes project ourselves back to those feelings, but they're in the past, yes. And we need to forgive ourselves and the others for everything we both did and did not do and set ourselves free. Absolutely right, Jackie. Completely right. We have to. We have to stop living in the past. Yes, we can't keep dragging the past into where we are right now and dragging it, projecting it into the future. Because if you remember one of the live casts that I did, I said the reason why we worry a lot is because we are taking, dragging that past over there into the future. The present, you have really nothing to worry about right now. There's not a big deal. You may be, if you're hungry, that's not a worry. That's something that you need to take care of right now. But when you are, if you find yourself worried, think about this. You're thinking about something that is to come, not something that is right here in front of you. And that is why it's important to be present. And that's a great point, Jackie, because you know what? Living in the present really makes life worth living. So the thought that I was going to say too is this, that when I, a, a few years ago when I walked away from full-time employment and to start a business, I went to real estate investing and I remembered with some of the projects that I was getting, as I got a, a sale on the house, then what would happen would be something would show up. <laughs> something would show up. So that the money had to be paid out, right? Now that's probably something that I had to deal with. Not probably it is. But also, I took another perspective on it. What I said to myself was, instead of me looking at it as though, well, you know, every time it comes, it's gone which really is not true because it wasn't every time, but I was making it out to be that way, right? I could look at it that like, wow, how blessed I am that I just have the money all the time, right on time to take care of this thing that pops up. See, that's another perspective that empowered me. So instead of looking, oh my gosh, the money is gone and blah, 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 you know, the way we get, it's like, oh my goodness, how blessed I am. Here I am 
I got this money just in time for this situation that just came up. How empowering is that? You know, it's completely empowering. So is life worth living? Is it worth living? Do you find yourself going through repeated situations? Like no matter where you go, things keep showing up the same exact way with different people. Ah, that's another thing to look at. And that's what I want to look at with you tomorrow when I talk about attribution. Because even that, how we attribute the occurrences in our lives, really impacts how we live our lives. It impacts the quality of the life that we will live. So, is your glass half full? Or is it half empty? What is it? Ask yourself that question. And next time, when the challenges come up for you, as they do for all of us, no one is immune. When they do come up, get into your mind and, and notice what you're making it mean. Notice what you're making of it. Are you looking for the good? Or are you looking for the bad of it? Is the glass half full or is it half empty? Your life, the happiness you feel, the peace of mind and fulfillment will hinge on the answer you give to that question. And so I encourage you that today that you will, no matter what the pain is that you're going through, as I, as I said, I've been there. Thank you, Daniel. I've been there. I encourage you to look at your life from another perspective. If the one you're looking at it from is not empowering you and causing you to feel great and happy and fulfilled about your life. Now, we haven't touched on a lot of things, but we have a, an entire week on this topic of is life worth living so i thank you so much for joining me let me make sure so jackie says yes living in what if wow yeah impossibilities is what i call that and in limitless possibilities is what i call that and that's another conversation for a completely different day and no doubt we will hit on that this week and as I said, I hope, thanks for the love bubbles. <laughs> I sure hope that you will be back here to join me. I love seeing your face, Jackie. <laughs> and all the other folks who are joining me or who get to join me. And if you watch this later, leave your comments, leave your likes. Let me know you saw it. Leave a question, leave whatever you have for me. Or you can private message me if you want to do that. So have an amazing, amazing Monday. I will promise you I'll take a lot of pictures so that you can see. Um, I, I have to admit that's not really my style. But I know how much I enjoy them. So I will take pictures and post them. And promise me that you're going to like them. <laughs> All right. So anyway, take care. Have a great. Let me see if I can. Now that I'm done, if the, if the thing is dropped, then it's not any problem. Let me see if I can walk you through. That's my room. That's a little kitchenette right there. And I'm sitting at the little table with my laptop. And let's go out on the porch. Let me see if I can unlock this door. And let you let me out so I don't know if you can see this is a little screen and the little ducks are down there but there's a little water thing there they have a paddle boat which I hope to get on and right over there with that hut thing you can see the top the colorful parts of the water park when I go over there I'll be sure to take pictures um, and and uh, have you guys see that but anyways, thank you for joining me. Love you immensely. And have the most amazing day. Bye.